Imagine one of the most advanced scientific machines on the planet, a machine designed to unlock the secrets of the universe, suddenly facing an unprecedented crisis. That's right, we're talking about the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, at CERN. What has led to this extraordinary decision to shut down the LHC? Let's unravel this together. The Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, at CERN is one of the modern world's engineering marvels. But what really happens inside this colossal machine? Known as the largest and most complex machine ever created by humanity, the LHC has been smashing subatomic particles with immense energy. Starting in 1998, the world witnessed the gathering of top scientists at CERN with the goal of revolutionizing our understanding of the universe. However, what is the price of this progress? The LHC not only required 10 years of intense labor from thousands of workers, but it also led to the heartbreaking death of one person. On October 25th, 2005, a catastrophic incident occurred. A switchgear cabinet weighing over a ton slipped from its support and fell on a forklift driver named Jose Perea Lahi, killing him instantly. This is a painful event that cannot be quickly forgotten, even as we witness the LHC today working wonders and revealing an unseen world to scientists at CERN. Some scientists think that the LHC might create quantum-level black holes that could ultimately destroy everything we see and know. Are you worried about this? But what is the reason behind this claim? A black hole is a region of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Imagine a super-powerful vacuum cleaner sucking in everything nearby. This happens when a large amount of matter is compressed into a small space, creating a powerful gravitational pull. If you get too close to a black hole, you'll be pulled in and disappear like everything else sucked into a vacuum cleaner. Over 20 years ago, a team at Brookhaven National Laboratory discovered a missing piece in the Standard Model. A measurement they made to better understand the forces shaping our universe was off. But before the LHC was created, there was the Stanford Linear Accelerator, where scientists conducted research. Fortunately, in 1996, this accelerator revealed through an experiment that protons consist of quarks, three tiny point particles like neutrons, thus classified as hadrons. But another problem arose. The Stanford Linear Accelerator wasn't powerful enough to study hadrons as scientists desired. So, something stronger needed to be built, leading to the creation of the LHC. Did you know about these advancements? So how impressive is the LHC? The answer will surprise you. Indeed, every step scientists took to build the LHC was worth it. Being nine times larger than the Stanford Linear Accelerator, the world's most powerful particle accelerator, the LHC stands as a great scientific wonder with tunnels stretching up to 27 kilometers in circumference. Furthermore, the LHC is equipped with about 10,000 magnets kept in a superconducting state at around 2 degrees above absolute zero, a temperature requiring about 96 tons of coolant in the form of helium. Isn't that amazing? So, what does the LHC do? About 10 years ago, we decided to build the largest scientific experiment ever constructed, 16 miles underground in Geneva. We accelerate these simple particles, protons, to 99.99999% of the speed of light, holding them in a massive collision within the LHC. This collision occurs with a minimum energy of 7 tera electron volts, about 140 times more powerful than the Stanford Linear Accelerator. When these beam collisions occur with such high energy, they resemble the collision of supersonic jets, revealing things scientists don't see every day. So, what difference do hadron collisions bring to particle physics? To answer this, think of the LHC as a powerful accelerator that breaks down hadrons and protons to understand what they're made of and anything unusual within them, like a car being dismantled to find its secrets. In a shocking turn, British astronomer Sir Martin Rees is one of the scientists who put forth the alarming theory that the LHC might create black holes that could ultimately swallow the entire planet, gradually growing and ultimately destroying everything. But wait, don't worry, as this is still just a theory. Not all scientists agree with Sir Martin Rees. Other scientists believe that the chances of creating black holes are extremely small. However, Rees hasn't changed his opinion and continues to warn that the LHC could bring about a major catastrophe if these black holes are actually created. Theoretical physicist Walter L. Wagner 
has also taken CERN to court out of fear that the LHC might create black holes. Wagner worries that these black holes could exist and grow, eventually causing the destruction of the planet. This drew worldwide attention when Wagner even filed a legal request to halt the LHC's operation. But what's the difference between Wagner and Rees? Surprisingly, Wagner isn't just worried about black holes. He also fears that the LHC might create something called strangelets. Do you know about this? Strangelets are theoretical particles that could convert any matter they come into contact with into strange matter, a very strange and unknown form of matter. Wagner believes that if strangelets exist, they could transform Earth into a strange matter ball. This sounds scary, but it's noteworthy that there's no evidence showing that strangelets actually exist. Do you think this could happen? However, this doesn't stop Wagner from continuing his pursuit and making his alarming claims. The remarkable thing is that there's no scientific evidence proving these claims are true. But this doesn't stop scientists from continuing their research and exploring new possibilities. So despite the concerns and controversial theories, the LHC continues to operate and bring significant discoveries in particle physics. Now let's get to the heart of today's topic. What could have led CERN officials to consider shutting down the LHC? Recently, an unexpected and alarming discovery has been made that has caused widespread concern among scientists and the public alike. Reports suggest that during one of the high-energy collisions, scientists detected anomalies that they had never seen before. These anomalies seem to indicate the formation of exotic particles that could potentially have dangerous properties. These exotic particles are theorized to possess qualities that could lead to instability in the matter around them. Imagine particles that could, in theory, disrupt the very fabric of our physical world. This discovery has prompted an urgent review and analysis by CERN's top scientists. The potential risks associated with these particles have led to intense debate and deliberation among the scientific community. The question on everyone's mind is, are we playing with forces we do not fully understand? The theoretical implications of these exotic particles are profound. If they behave in unpredictable ways, they could pose significant risks not only to the LHC, but potentially to our world. This isn't just about scientific curiosity anymore, it's about safety and the future of particle physics. The recent findings have certainly raised alarm bells. While the LHC was designed to push the boundaries of our knowledge, the formation of these exotic particles suggests that we might have reached a threshold where the unknowns start to outweigh the knowns. This is a delicate balance, and the safety of our experiments is paramount. Thank you for joining us on this deep dive into the latest developments at CERN. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content on the latest in science and technology. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.